So I'm trying to read a lot of books uh, to predict the Newberry, and um, Be Prepared came up on a lot of lists, and it is a graphic novel by Vera Broskel. Um, and I don't believe um, there has been very many graphic novels that have ever, I don't think any have won, and maybe one might have gotten an honor. Like I feel like El Defo might have gotten an honor, but I can't, I'd have to look that up. Um, and so this is kind of like for fans of drama, smile, um, uh, roller girl. I, I, um, anyone who likes those kind of graphic novels would really like Be Prepared. But it's different because it's more of an immigrant version of those type of books. And so this is kind of feels like an autobiographical story of Vera um, who wrote um, and drew, these, um, drew this graphic novel. Um, and she is... Uh, her, I, I think maybe, well, her mother's definitely a Russian immigrant, so I'm not quite sure if she was born in the U.S. or um, immigrated as well. But um, her mother is a single mother, and she's got three children. Um, Vera's the oldest, and she's definitely, definitely socially awkward. So she has, Vera has trouble making friends at school um, and at church, where they're heavily involved in the Russian Orthodox Church. Um, but Vera thinks maybe it's because her family is so Russian and they're kind of poor. But on the other hand, her 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 younger brother, the middle child, um, doesn't seem to have any social issues. So it maybe perhaps it's something else. But we don't really understand that from the graphic novel. But we do know that um, every summer, all her friend or all her friends or all the kids that she knows goes off to sleepaway camp, and she's like, she and her brother are like the only ones left behind. Um, but the you know the mother isn't. Um, doesn't have a lot of money because she is in school getting her accounting degree. And so Vera figures out that her Russian Orthodox Church has a church camp um, and helps pay for kids to go. And so she convinces her mom to send her and then her brother ends up going as well. And so so this is kind of like, it's kind of like if you like Lumberjanes, that's another uh, sleepaway camp book. But this is very different because there's no magical realism and in fact, it's kind of a, another uh, socially challenging environment for Vera, partly because most of the girls on her side of the camp, the girls' camp, are much older. Um, and there really isn't very many her age at all. And so she struggles socially um, until um, sort of towards the end of camp because she ends up going for two weeks, but then her mother ends up getting an interview overseas. and so she ends up staying two more weeks, which is the full length of camp. And she sort of sort of suffers the first two weeks, and then she decides towards the end, like, she's just going to make this camp situation better. She sees her brother enjoying himself. Um, and so it's kind of nice um, to see her kind of stick up for herself. At first, she tries to win friends by using her artistic talent, because she's very talented at drawing. Um, and she's living with two teenage girls who are boy crazy. And the boy in question is um, at the boys camp. Um, and I think they all actually kind of interact like at meals um, or camp, like, camp, camp outings. And so she decides um, in order to, you know, sort of turn her camp situation around, she's going to help her side of the camp win capture the flag because the, the winning side gets to create a punishment for the losing side and the girls have lost all summer. And so she ends up making a friend who's a little bit younger, but that's a, her, kind of her first positive experience. Um, and then she ends up, you know, kind of figuring out like a, a daring attempt at capture the flag that ends up um, helping her turn things around. And so it's, it's kind of like a brutally honest you know, like Vera's, the author is pretty, um, pretty brave and just saying like, this is what happened. <laughs> and, you know, I wasn't the cool kid. Um, and I think the cover conveys maybe more comedy than it is. I mean, it, it is funny, but it is sort of like, you know, Vera's not having a great time. And, you know, it also makes you feel a little bit empathetic towards her. Um, but anyway, I think um, there's a lot of great graphic novels um, that you know through the years that haven't won Newbery, and 
I think what makes this one a little bit different is that it's kind of about an immigrant experience. Um, but it has that sort of, um, you know, the authors, you know, really burying their soul in the way that um, Raina Telgemeier's um, Smile and Drama have in Sisters. And so I don't know if it will win, but, um, and I haven't read all the graphic novels out there, but I hope it does. Um, but I do know that this will be very well received for um, anyone looking for girl characters in graphic novels. Um, and I would say it's for ages um, eight and up. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it as well. Thanks so much for watching.